My role is in the world of motivating, inspiring, and I concentrate on trying to bring the best out in that person. As the rose thorns die, I'll be wishing you here still. Nice, I like that. He's part life coach, part vocal trainer. Your chest voice again, yeah. which is great. What I do is awaken something else in a person, something they didn't think they had. When was the last time you kissed your mother? For three decades, people have turned to Anthony Wade, also known as Dr. Voice, because he helps them sound and feel better. Say that that's the only way. It's like, it's like a prescription, and, or when you give them something to do, to, a way to think, because it's not just the singing I give, it's the consciousness behind it, how to think. His most famous patient, so to speak, is one of pop music's most captivating voices. Multi-Grammy and Brit award-winning artist Sam Smith. He was 15 years old when the record company asked me to work with him. Beautiful voice, natural voice. You see, am I gonna teach him to sing? No, he could already sing. But what I did do with Sam is I textured his voice by giving him techniques and making him aware of his chest voice, making him aware of the different registers. You couldn't tell whether he was black, white, a boy or a girl, and people go, who's that singing? What an unusual voice. Now, as you know, he's one of the biggest stars we have. The making music, which happened in the world, is great. When he was young, Wade dreamed of stardom and a career in music himself. I didn't have a voice. I couldn't sing. The feeling inspired Wade to study the voice, and he realized something special happens when he shares his knowledge. That's what it's about, it's defining character. You see an inner part of them change and their eyes change. It's phenomenal. Wade made connections teaching on the college level and writing music for several British television shows. That led to the Dr. Voice brand and multiple reality show appearances. In more than 30 years, he says he's coached thousands of people and his brand continues to expand. Of the 70 clients he takes on each year, he says there are also politicians and business leaders. I had some guy from Shell, one of the top directors asked me, can I help him be more effective when he does negotiations? It was then I realized, oh, here's a business. When you open up, you go, ah, you got big sounds. Yeah. It's about the lives you can affect and how you can inspire a positive difference to other people. And that was the way my business has been run. What positive difference can I make to people in my life? For the four years that I spent with him, he was always practicing. Bubble technique, which is the technique, which um, puts air on the lips and not on the cords, and, and that enables you to go very high in your voice. If you want to go right at the top end of your voice, yeah, I wanna be the one. You know, it's very easy to do. He was able to hit these notes with ease, but if you don't do those techniques, you won't be able to get those notes. The famous song that I did with him, I wanted his voice to be like a violin at the end, and, and he did it perfectly. So I'm a sinner. Isn't everyone? Everybody wants to be the God they love. I've seen sweet heaven turn in to something else. I'm talking to Jermaine Jackman, winner of The Voice. What I'd really like to know, Jermaine, is how and why you got involved with Dr. Voice. I got through with Dr. Voice through my manager. And you know, it's a thing going through so many vocal coaches in your time. And it's about connecting with a vocal coach, with a vocal teacher that you can really 
grow with, who, who really understands your voice, who, who knows how to take it to multiple levels. There's one thing about singing. There's another thing about maintaining that voice. Singers like Tom Jones, who can do it for about 60, 70 years and still have the same power. I remember being on The Voice and Tom Jones came to rehearsals in his, his robe and his granddad's slippers and he came with his mic ready, ready, ready to rock. And I'm like, look at Tom Jones. Tom. Obviously I was 18 at the time. I understood he was a legend, but I didn't understand that he still had the power. So he's there in the room, no music's playing, and he just, he just belts something into the mic. The sound just ripped my heart out, literally ripped my heart out. His voice hasn't changed not one bit. He still has the power. He still, and, and I asked him, he, he's a, I said, how do you maintain the diaphragmic breathing? How do you maintain the power and the projection? And he says, just down to my vocal coach, down to constantly doing those vocal exercises, those vocal warm-ups every single day because it's his career and it's what people cherish and it's about he needs to cherish it as well. So that's why I bumped into Dr. Voice. I, I, I had a session with Dr. Voice and I've been back ever since. I haven't missed a session and it's, it's just been such a blessing to be able to meet him. He doesn't just vocal coach you. He's a life coach as well. He goes that extra mile for a singer, for a vocalist and he, he, he creates this mind around your voice. He, he develops your mind around the voice and he maintains your mind around the voice. And it's about believing in your talent. It's about believing where you can go. It's about when you perform on stage, yeah, you might have the confidence, but you might not have the confidence to perform. And then that can tell in your voice. But having that confidence, having that stance, your performance and your voice will be in tip-top condition. And Dr. Voice does that. Dr. Voice works on the physical aspect of your voice and the physical mind as well. And it's about bringing those two things together to make you a well-rounded performer. And I'm so blessed to have met him and continue to work with him. So you think this has actually made a, a big difference to uh, your voice and vocal coaching in general? Dr. Voice, seeing Dr. Voice over the last couple of months, he has definitely made a change in my voice. Naturally, I'm naturally higher now. I'm walking around the house, just <laughs> those hitting those high notes here and there. I'm like, where did that come from? I'm a, I, I was a baritone. I'm still a baritone, but my range has increased so much, and that's from him instilling in me the fact that you need to do your vocal warm-ups, you need to do your vocal training every single day in order to grow. In order to, it's just like going to the gym when you when you're pumping iron and you want to get that body for summer. You're pumping it in every single day to make sure that the muscle bulk is growing and the voice is a muscle as well. Making sure you're working at it every day, not overworking it, but working it just right and Dr. Voice teaches you that. It's not just about me, it's about using your gifts, using your talents and your achievements to change the world and change people's lives and everyone can grow together. And those are the so many lessons that I've learned from Dr. Voice and from my parents and from my family. And and I'm just so thankful to have met him and and he he even contributed on one of the songs on my album actually, um, Dr. Voice. He 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 was the vocal producer for one of my songs on my album, so a thanks goes out to him for developing me in that sense as well. Well Jermaine, thank you very much for that privilege to talk to you. Thank you so much. <laughs>